okay here's how you start you go to forex factory you look and you see what news is coming out first thing you do i like to change it to the dealing desk time this is an eastern standard time dealing desk times in western europe click save changes okay now you go in here and you go to calendar now you flip back down here and this one just came out right when I turned on the computer it was the ECB rate change well, what is that um, the rate change the interest rate on the main reef um, financing operations the bulk of the bank's liquidity system that's pretty big they lowered it all right now if you look at this this says if the actual is greater than the forecast, this is the actual. This is the forecast is the, let's grab forecast in the middle one. So they're equal. But if the actual is greater than the forecast, it'll move it. So if the actual is greater than the forecast, it'll move it. Who cares? Nobody looks at it. Meaning you want to know when the news comes out. Um, but you're just going to react to what the news does. Now, Australia has already moved. That's a bummer. Last night when I went to sleep, everything was going sideways, which is what you kind of want. This was the the news event, and it was coming out right when I came on. It was a little too whipsaw to trade. Okay? You see that? And that's the movement it did. Just that one bar where it shot up and down, that bar was 100 pips long about the rate change. Now, um that just came out but the next thing that's coming out is canada um there's canadian news coming out and it's been moving lately the canadian trade imbalance this press conference will be tough to trade it's all day long so you have the u.s trade imbalance and unemployment claims they're expecting 346 well we don't really care but there's an indicator in here that helps it's open source it scrapes a website it's very solid um, i have no problems with it you pull this on you go down here, uh, oh, wrong one, it is this one. And you come down here at the bottom, it shows you the number of events coming up, it sets the text size, we're going to set it to 12, okay? This will show up and tell us when news is coming out. So it's saying jobless claims and what are happening. Then there's the press conference that's coming out. Now you can bring those up and set them on. Now this will warn you because the way I set it up, when it comes out now i'm going to put pivots on here so i can see where supporter resistance is okay that brings up supporter resistance and shows you now all it is is a hurry up and wait hurry up and wait hurry up and wait now there's i'm going to use my old and trusty tool this tool's been has lots and lots of trades on it notice there's betty bourbon and xxx well this one's been around forever so but it will take trades immediately if you're trading above resistance and so i'm just going to wait and pull it on just before the news event all right so i'm going to wait until 8 30 until i turn it on pretty close to there now you could sit there what are the ways to size stuff by hand if you're just going to trade it by hand you just go and you figure out what the volatility is so, like, if that's the volatility, that's 34 pips, you'd say, well, I'm going to have a 34 pip stop. on This is only a $2,500 account. This is an um, account. You'd wait and have it run and look at it. Now, this one's already run. Th this one was based off that ECB rate change, and it shot straight up. This one I was hoping would, would get a little bit of a run later on. This morning now what this thing showing you is which ones have broken out and ran when it gets to three when it gets to the black line up there that will give you um, a idea of what's happening now your brain's gonna process faster than that indicator can keep up it won't be able to keep up you'll see the um, you'll see stuff moving way before it now gosh dang that Japanese one's still taking off see I'm not gonna trade it when it's running like that after you know, I should have got it on that breakout if I wanted it. It This is all from that rate change right there. It broke out. It's just a little bit delayed reaction. But the news is coming up. It's really dangerous when one's running like that for you to jump this one. 
until you wait until the news event because this is like a delayed reaction look this thing came out 15 minutes ago 5 10 15 don't even touch that um because they'll run and then they'll just stop cold they'll just stop cold like this one did this one slowed right down up here um i'm working on some that will we could we could try it and see if it'll work it's based off of um, a sideways turn on i haven't finished testing it yet it turns it on um based on if it broke that level or didn't break that level okay and yeah. I, I've been setting that up to get it to get ready to run or I've got another one I've been working on that will launch based on a break of that downtrend line and I haven't tested these yet um, they're pretty easy to turn on this is the newest um, version of one of my EAs and I haven't I haven't tested this part of it yet but I'll turn it on we're gonna say I want to trade the GBP do I want to load my configuration file? Reload it? No, I already have one. It's just going to ask me two questions. Actually, GBP, USD, and five minute. And then um, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to bring this up and see where it says stalled mode. It's not going to run while it's in stalled mode. This is what I'm testing right now. I have all the code done. Um, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go to object. I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to put in buy stop. Well, if it goes above that, I want to have a buy stop. I'm going to edit sell stop. Okay. Now, this you have to turn on because you won't know what order those are in. So what you do is right click, you go to properties, show period um, descriptions. And the descriptions tell you if, where your buy stop and sell stop is. Now, this should turn it on. Um, what we do is there's a little script here it says drawing tools so as long as they say buy stop or sell stop turn it on um, and turn it on for bourbon I haven't tested this all the way so this is brand new I don't know if it if that's gonna run yet so I'll do the same thing over here on this trend line okay I could still trade these I'm just gonna go to AUD USD and um, if this one breaks down I'll take it so would you like to configure no now I, I don't know if i've got this one set up reload aud usd i don't know if i have a backup file on it it'll tell me in just a second okay draw cal holds press conference that is going to move the market that red one that just popped up um he's the ecb president he's also Almost all those guys are scumbags. The ECB presidents have been just gross. There was one of them that attacked that maid in New York. Um, yeah, there's knuckleheads. Okay, so you bring this up. You right-click. You go to object list. You go to edit. And I'm going to say sell, stop. These trend line ones are just being tested. So let's go to sell, stop. Let's click this right here. And this should activate it. Only if it breaks that sell stop will it get into that. And you just pick which EA you want. So there's two of them. There's one other one that I can turn on. And this one should do it on this. Um, I'm going to bring this one on. I don't know if it'll run. It's a brand new one too. I'm going to go USD CAD. And this one, these are, this is a real account. These are real trades that will come on. Um, uh no let's click okay if you don't have this configured it'll tell me in just a second usd cad five minute okay there's no file open on that one it's real easy to fix okay um there is a program running right here this is for the government this just says configure it usd I already answered all the questions had them ready before we went this will say yeah i want to trade this click save um, it's another little application that just asks you a whole series of questions. So I'm just going to save this. Okay. Now I'm going to pop this up here. And what I'm going to do, this should have this now. So when I go to pull this on, you'll go to USD CAD. You click OK. 
Now the, these two features in this one, this one, and this one, not tested. So we're going to find out if they work. But the other thing I'll trade with the other EA, USD CAD. Five minute. Now it didn't give me an error, so it's running. It says it's install mode. This one starts if you take three Canadians, not literally three Canadians, um, the CAD, and it breaks out, it should turn on. Okay, it should. Now, that, those are non-tested. Now, the other one I'm going to trade by hand, and that one I'm just irked at. I didn't, I don't know why that one ran when the rates came out in um, Europe. But that one took off. That's a 56 pip move. That was a good one to, to catch. Now, I either do them by hand or just wait. Now, I can just wait till the news comes out. So, I got 20 minutes before the news comes out. Okay, I, if I take this one, this one is old and trusty. You bring it on, go to load, you go to Jeff, you scroll down, you say, look, that's the tick value, 30 cents a tick. You go to 0 0.08, um, that's max cycles. If it loses eight cycles in a row, stop. This is sell at one ATR, 50% of the position. Um, per, uh, let's see. Percent to sell at um, equal distance for stop and target. Let's go 50%. It's a 20 pip stop. And then right down here, override your time filter. Yeah. Close all at break even if you lose two in a row. Sure. And um, if we get the size too small, close part of it. No, we don't want to do that. And then that'll just start to run. If it goes below the blue line, it activates. Goes above the red line, it activates. You don't have to do anything. It'll just start trading. Now, that still says stalled. See, this is the one we are testing. If the bid gets below there, that should get rid of that. Did we put sell stop on it? Let's see. So, I know this is something I haven't tested yet in a, a real one for the trend line. So, I know that I got a bug on that one. There's a little error right in here I got to look at. Because that should have activated. That should have went out of stalled mode. But it's a brand new thing I'm testing. So, I'm going to remove that. I know that I got an issue with it and I'll deal with it later. So if you know you have an issue with it and you're in a real account, don't leave it on there. Don't don't leave it running. So that's for me. So I just removed it and said, get rid of that. So I could still trade that one by hand or with one of the other one, EAs. This this is an EA, brand new EA, but it, it turns on and off in different ways. So we could look at just how to do it. Okay, now we just, it's hurry up and wait, hurry up and wait, hurry up and wait, hurry up and wait. So now I'm just waiting, 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 waiting. That's going to run that test, but I want to catch it running. So I'm going to go GBP USD. I'm going to open a new GBP chart. I'm going to switch it to a five minute. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it running. There'll be that new EA on there. I don't think it'll fire off because it's something I was testing on. But we'll set this at really low size because I'm testing right now. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is say run 0.03 lot, sell 50%, eight losses in a row, sell 50% again. If I lose twice, get me out at break even. And if it's too small, forget it. Okay. Now, um, above that point, I'll be long. Below that point, I'll be short. It's 0.03 lots. It's 60 cents a tick. <coughs> and then we just let it go. And see what happens. Sometimes these can be a dud, but not too often. If they're duds, you just cut your losses as fast as possible. And so this one's set up here to run. Let's move this one down here. Now, these are all really small lot sizes that are on here um, to look at. And I can do it by hand. So what, whatever I do, though, if I want to stop this one from running, I just remove it. Okay. If I was going to go down here and say, hey, I would like the computer to um, to stall it. See where that says stalled? There's some commands down here under the scripts that say um, restart EA. Let's add this to favorites. And let's go over here where it says stall EA. It says close all and stall. Now this close all and stall works. Um, add to favorites. That I've tested. 
and the restart works uh, that I've tested and um, if you come down in here and it says um, there's one that should just say stall and I got the close on stall these two you just leave on there you pull them on it would close all the open trades this one I'll have to close all the open trades by hand this old one okay and it's starting to, to heat up right now it's looking like that's showing like the dollar strengthening um, dollar weakening boom okay it's starting to, to head up now that one got me into a trade right there on the GBP one um, based on a little breakdown it thought that was support it started to move it it labeled that on support now this is right when the news is coming out I'm short I'm down 70 cents 30 cents 60 cents it's starting to move down um, 90 cents right there. And it's a dud. It's not moving. Gosh dang it. I hate it when they don't move. It's a dud. It's not even moving at all. So since the news didn't move at all, at all, I mean, it's not, it's just dead. I'm not seeing anything move at all. I want to get out at even. It, it should have had big, big, big bars. So immediately I start removing stuff. So this, I want to disable that expert because I don't want this expert to run. That one's a test one. I'll leave it. Well, it's a real account, so I'm going to remove it. Expert remove. And this is one that I was testing on. I'm going to remove it. Now, this one's going, but it's not moving very much. So I won 60 cents. Well, that's only because this one's a testing account because of what I was testing that stuff on. Now, if I want to close it by hand and I want to get out of this, I go to expert, I go to remove, and then I just go like this and say, you know what? That was supposed to move more. It was a non-farm payroll and it didn't move. I'm out of there. Done. Done. It's all done. Okay. So the amount I risked, I mean, it was seriously that you're done. The amount I risked on that, I made 30 cents on that. That was a t because that's, that's one tick. Why did I do that? Well, it's a news event. It, it shouldn't look like that. It should look like this. If you don't get bars that big on a non-farm news event, get out of there. It, you you should be seeing bars this big, this big. Okay, so we go find the next one. You you just get out of it. That's all you do. You put it on a timer, and if if under five minutes it hasn't moved, you have no business being in it anymore. Let's go see what's happening right here, and that's um on the amount of risk. I put up um only about thirty bucks was pledged to that trade that's it there was 30 bucks pledged that trade the thursday one sometimes doesn't move until the friday one because you've got all this news came out right here all this just teared out nothing moved it well job claims were a little bit weaker if job claims were weaker watch what this says if the actual's less than the forecast it's good for the currency well that's what we saw it started moving, but be glad I got out of that. Look, it's reversing on me right now. Be, be glad you did that because it's it didn't move. It didn't move. So just be grateful that you got out of that and said, well, it's not moving. I'm getting out of there um, because it just went for a couple ticks. Like, is this a normal bar? That's a normal bar, normal bar, normal bar, normal bar. That's a news bar. I've been trading this for a long, long time. And you, you have to go bigger. Um, to make a little bit more money, but it wasn't moving around. Now, you can see, look, this this is a, you can tell up here, here's the accounts. This is how much it's up in real profit or losses, just doing that. Okay. Now, I'll go through and hit it, and when it starts to run, I get all over it. I get all over it, and today, it was just, it didn't move at all, at all. So this one's starting to, it looks like this is saying, hey, the purpose of some of this stuff, they want to weaken the dollar. They want to. They want a monetary policy of weakening the dollar, okay? Well, that was supposed to strengthen the dollar. Well, it's not doing anything. Um, it's not doing anything right now. This is showing that this isn't really weakening. This one really isn't weakening. The Japanese one went up farther, but um, you're not getting anything. Look, here's Europe, but Drocky speaking. And it's just going sideways. It was a dud. It was a dud going through and looking at it. It didn't move at all. That stinks. I hate it when that happens. You get it so it doesn't even move at all. 
So you could, this one's starting to show up. Look, if that will break, it's not going to do anything. I'm trying to force a trade. It, it was just a dead. The, the main key is if the news doesn't move, you must shut it down. You have no choice. You have to just say, shut down. I'm not going to do it. If you take this and look, this was the, um, the ECB rate statement at um, 515. That was 70 pips. Well, we didn't even get near. This is our news event. Look, this is our news event. We got 12 pips. That's not at all what we wanted. We just shut it down and be.